All right, here we go. It's time to play some more GeoGuessr around the world, I guess. Uh, it was pretty damn fun last we did it. Uh, had a very good score on our very first trip. Don't know if um, maybe they're being kinder to you. Nah, probably not. I don't think it's uh, like you get an easy one the first time because we did do some uh, looking around, searching and uh, some qualified guesses. Uh, we tried a couple of different modes. I think I'm going to start off doing a, a regular one. And then we might try something different as well. I haven't looked into the multiplayer yet, so um, I'm going to have to wait to do that when we do a slightly longer stream. For now, well, let's traverse El Globe, I guess. Uh, a challenge, I guess, could be... I actually don't know. It looks like it's multiplayer somehow. Explorer mode. Don't know what that is. Streaks, daily challenge, pro leagues, map maker. So yeah, it is interesting. You could create your own map, which... I guess it's good if you're doing, like, famous places, or maybe you do... I guess you technically do something... Um, for friends and family, you know, with your uh, with areas close by or something like that, it could work. Uh, so that's not too bad. All right, here we go. And I have changed my browser for this. And it should be way smoother. Uh, just moving around like this and also stepping up ahead. A little bit faster, a little bit smoother. And it's not tanking my system. Uh, when I was using Chrome, it kept... Uh, skipping and missing frames. Uh, could actually... I just realized it could just be that I'm not using hardware acceleration in Chrome, but I am in this one. So it might not be the browser at all. It could just be that little difference. Who knows? Uh, so we do have some text here. Karasambalayuglu. Yeah, that's not gonna help me. Uh, not too much. Uh, it's a little bit mountainous. This ray area. Seasonal weather, I guess. But at the same time, kind of dry. Eh, yeah, probably not. Nah. I guess if we can see the prices here on the um, for the gas, that could help us out a little bit. Uh, that didn't help. A lot of tractors. Could be anywhere. A lot of tractors, yeah, wow. Restaurant? Hmm. Gas would nezil. Is that diesel? Hmm, maybe. Diesel. Yeah, I can't really tell. I don't think it would tell what uh, what money that is anyway. Man, it feels amazing when um, it's actually smooth transitioning like this. That's so damn good. All right, we got a decision. Are we going that way or are we going this way? Just turning around is just super smooth. Coming up to like a mountain or a hill here at least. Could be a road sign. Could be. Oh, it is, but from the other side, but that's fine. Modurno ad passare. <clears throat> yeah, I can't even begin to guess what country this is. D160. Can I remember that? Modurno. Yeah, we're probably going to find more road signs before we... Uh... What is that a sign for? I think that's like a photograph of uh, a famous area or something. Interesting. And that intersection comes up in 200 meters. That could mean that we might have an interesting road leading to this. And also the main road is up straight ahead. Uh, it could still be stuff behind us, I guess. 
Uh, but I think we're going to follow the road here because we have no idea where this leads. So I guess we're going this direction. Dur. That's uh, Spanish speaking, right? So I'm thinking South America. But no. This feels more um, Southeastern Europe. Yeah, this is not Spanish. Maybe I'm confusing Dur. Maybe it could be different countries using Dur as stop. Uh, we've seen it before. I don't remember if it was in this game or if it was. Might actually have been in Eurotruck. Dot com. What the hell? Why? So this seems kind of Hungarian or something like that, maybe. Or Turkish. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, those little signs don't help me more than we've already established. Add another sign here, kind of saying the same Bolu. 160. Uh, we could start looking for roads in one of the two countries I've said. Um, don't think we're gonna get any wiser anytime soon, actually. Interesting. Is that a wall or is that... Yeah, it's... don't know what this wall is for. I thought it was uh, like holding... Um, could be that the gravel and the dirt keeps falling down towards the road. That's probably what it is. It collects... Um, keeps it in place. Because it didn't seem to be uh, like a house or something inside there. This is a dirt mound. So the signs we've seen leads to something over here. Is it like a restaurant or a theme park? Something like that? That's a ticket booth. <laughs> Can we go down here? No. Well, there is an arrow, but I think that's still just taking us in the same direction, no matter where I click that. Okay, let's see if we can gather some more information here. Any information on this one? No, we got a sign coming up here. Okay, they got solar panels and is that a water heater? connected to the solar panels. I think that could be it. It looks like it's connected somehow. Maybe this collects rainwater. It goes down here, gets heated physically by this. It looks like a pipe rather than uh, anything else. Also looks like a pipe going down into the house. I don't know if that's the case. Interesting. Sarai Helvast Modurno Fabrica Stasis. Yeah. Red and white signs for uh, sharp turns. We actually saw that when we were driving a Euro Trucker uh, last time, where we actually went off the road. <laughs> Don't remember exactly what country that is. It was like 
Hungary or Bulgaria, I think. So that still takes us to the same region. Okay, slightly more fancy house. A lot of uh, floors. And once again, I am kind of surprised by us not seeing more road signs. But then again, you know, there's not a lot of turns. Not a lot of roads leading off of this one, so if you're on this road, well, you're going to keep driving until you reach the, you know. But they said 200 meters there was a turn to something, and there was no sign to the right. I mean, we've definitely gone 200 meters. I guess that might have been the gas station where we were. Okay, we're coming up to something here. Modorno. Is that a population? New fish. Hmm. I guess we can have a quick look for um, potentially Modorno. It's a little bit hard since we don't know exactly where we are. It's not going to be a super big city, is it? Like 5,000 uh, inhabitants. So if it was Bulgaria, we probably would have seen Cyrillic letters. So we're seeing these type of letters with the uh, stuff above um, some of the letters. Just look and see how, what the roads are named here. We probably need to look for a smaller road. Uh, it looked like there was a dot. Something dot 160, right? Or am I confused? And that doesn't look like the roads at all. Well, could be. Did it say dot 160? I'm a little bit confused about the road number there. Could be Slovakia as well, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really getting any clues here. Moderno. Hmm. Oh, we're already... Okay, we're leaving Moderna in this direction. Okay, that makes sense. Well, if I knew a little bit more about currencies, that would have been a really good clue. Don't know what that is. Ten something for... I don't even know what this is. Is it, is it motor oil or is it a drink? Uh, looks like it's served in a cup, right? So it's probably... Blueberry and vanilla cream or something like that. Hmm. It's a season campaign. Ten something for two. I'm trying to think what the value would be, if that helps me at all. Yeah, it doesn't really. Wait, can I, can I go back? I'm gonna read this sign as well. Yeah. Dot net. What the hell? We can't get a web address that has uh, the country in it. Hmm, well, 
feel like we're gonna have to make a guess here on the first one. We're not getting uh, the hints I need here. We probably do. It's just me not being uh, knowledgeable enough, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, we do have a, a city, a, a society, a, a village, whatever. 5,000 people, I don't know what's... I guess it's a small town, right? So we do have that, if we just knew... I guess 160 is a road we should look for. And then... But then again, you know, we have like four or five different countries we're thinking about. I like the area. It's uh, very alive. Also looks dangerous. This could just spill down onto the road. Dot com again. Hmm. Well, let's give it a couple of more uh, clicks here and then we're gonna have to make a guess. <clears throat> That's a radio station. It's very close to uh, the radio station uh, we listened to while I was growing up. That was 92.8. Okay. Wait, wasn't that the city we just came through? It was named something very similar if it wasn't this, right? Hmm. Now we got road 14 as well. So we got 160 and we got a 14. And is that, why is that road censored? Oh, it's not. Yeah, D160. Okay, we got a D. I just remember the dot for some reason from the last time we saw this sign. Dot 160, I forgot about the D. So where do we have those? We got Ds here already. Sounds like I'm talking about something else. These are, are those O's or D's? I'm not getting any closer by zooming, am I? Hmm. I think that's an O. But we got D's. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how roads like this work. Could these just continue into a different country or will they be renamed to something else? And is there any logic with how I'm supposed to search? D160, all right. Looks promising. And we are traveling west right now. This seems to be the end of 160. And we also had, was it 14? Yep. 14 going north. And there might obviously be more countries with roads D160. So not necessarily this place here, but it could be. And 
Yeah, the 160 road just continues on a long time. Don't know how zoomed in we need to be to see these smaller uh, communities. Probably pretty zoomed in. And we haven't seen any signs for this, so we're not. And then 160 disappears. So if we're in Turkey, we should be somewhere along the stretch of road. Does it look mountainous? A little bit. I guess. I lost the road. Oh no. There we go. Well, I guess I'm just putting a marker down somewhere along this. What happened? Does the road end? No, it continues here. Yeah, let's just put a marker down somewhere here. We could be... Let's just double check real quick if we have... Uh, we don't have the naming convention in this country at least, so... Uh, Serbia, it's Cyrillic letters. Hungary... It's called different. Okay, I feel like we're probably in the correct country then. Let's see. Okay. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Uh, sadly, we put it in the wrong end of uh, the road. I guess I should have put it in the middle somewhere. And... We started here. Which was the city we drove through? Was it this one? No. Modorno. Okay, I think we were here somewhere as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's a, that's a decent one. Uh, yeah. Took a little while finding the clues we needed. We actually went by the very clue, the first one we saw, but, you know, we needed some more confirmation before that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's go west. Is that Texas? I think it is. Am I wrong about that? Oh, I don't know. If this is uh, USA, we usually get a lot of long stretches of road with absolutely nothing. And the road looks... not that great. I feel like the trees and stuff doesn't give me a Texas vibe. So I could obviously be wrong about that. Bird. And there is like nothing to gain information from it. It's such a boring stretch of road. Uh, could be a hint up here. Uh, it's sensor for some reason. Why? God damn it. Well, probably wouldn't have helped me anyway. So I wonder why that was blurred out. If that's intentional or a bug. Probably intentional. Could be that they're removing. Uh, like road markers or something like that. But if they do that, then it's going to be really freaking hard. Let's say they remove every single, uh, you know, road sign in uh, in GeoGuessr. It would be impossible to uh, do some detective work. Uh, if they do that, I do hope they would leave it as an option to turn them off and on. And then just uh, make the high score lists according to what uh, clues you are keeping in the game. Because I don't mind doing the detective work. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, because you can't really do it without at least coming to some sort of conclusion first about what country. Because if you're going to you know, look through all countries' roadmaps, well, you're going to spend 42,000 years uh, looking through to find the road you're looking for. 
Okay, we got something coming up here. CEO Road One Twenty Nine. Maybe I. But yeah, USA is my uh, thought. Speed limit fifth. Yeah, so it's censored on the previous one. I'm pretty sure that's not a coincidence, right? This is specifically censored. Not to give you a clue about the the speed limit, right? But then we can even see it here, or we can see it here. It's 50 miles per hour. So, yeah. I wish I looked a little bit closer at that Texas, potentially Texas sign that we saw before, because that might have been... Okay, we got th this one again. Perfect. Don't know how much of a clue we're going to get from this, but... Farm Road 2985. Is that the road number then? I think we can actually see the states here. Yeah, so it is Texas. And Farm Road something something. I'd, that's going to be probably a too small road to get any information from, right? Yeah. Was such a high number, so there's probably going to be a um, million of those. Okay, yeah, okay, they actually. Have, okay, I see. That's amazing that all these small roads just have numbers. Twenty nine eighty five. Well, let the hunt begin, I guess. So that's in the two thousands. If we go east, what happens to the smaller roads? It gets higher. So I'm not sure anywhere how the roads work, not even in Sweden, uh, how they're named some of these. Do they go north to south? Do they go west to east? Do they do both? With naming. Uh, and sometimes it's confusing when you're looking through like this, because, you know, the roads twist and turn and pass each other and stuff like that. So you, sometimes you get a little bit confused because you can see a lower number further down and stuff like that. Oh, there's no 23. So let's go all the way south here, I guess. Twenty-two. Yeah, we're not high enough. We're twenty-nine, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're in the right numbers here. That's a little bit cheeky. Twenty-nine eighty-five. I keep forgetting what it is. Oh my god. Uh, this hunt is going to be uh, quite something. Uh. 2903... 24... Yeah, it's... I mean, yeah, we need some more information. Uh, but we have some information that we believe in. Why can I turn around? Hello? There we go. So it seems like we're in the western parts of Texas, according to the road numbers. And I think that makes sense. Uh, with the vegetation we see here, it seems very, very dry. I think it would be a little bit more non-dry, <laughs> if you will, uh, out by the coast. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but in my mind, that makes sense. And we're playing in my head. Ah, man, I feel like... Yeah, you say is one of the worst places to uh, end up in. Because there's a lot of empty roads. So I'm assuming this farm road is named differently then. Or are we still driving on the same road, maybe? There was a sign here. Let's see if we can get back to it. 
So I think this is the farm road that is marked, yeah, 798. So the numbers are very different. It seems strange though that this would mark the road leading into the left here because there's also a sign pointing into the left. But then again, we've just been driving for a, you know a couple of hundred meters in this direction, and we went from twenty nine eighty five to seven ninety eight. If that's this road, yeah, that's a little bit confusing. I haven't seen a single sign for... Uh, I mean, we haven't been into a village or town or whatever, so yeah. But you know, it would be nice having just a sign. Oh, there's uh, such and such miles uh, until you reach... Uh, whatever. But nope. Just drive, 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 drive. And even if we're putting it in the correct state here, it's still going to be pretty low score since um, it's pretty big state. Once again, we have one of these small little road signs, probably just going to say something RD and a number. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what the CO is. Country off-road? Road? road? <laughs> no, that's not it. Coordinates? Road 138? I don't know. Care of road 138. And those... Are those bigger or smaller than the other ones? Potentially they're bigger, actually. I don't think so. I think they're... Could be these roads. I don't think so, though. Yeah, man. It's too big to search for specific numbers like this. I just need, like, one sign with an actual place. That's all I'm asking for. Uh, I guess we're doing a qualified guess here as well. It's not going to be that qualified, though, since we don't know the roads. And it is discouraging when we see road 2985. That means that there's at least 3,000 roads to scan through. That's not good. Can you build roads any straighter? I don't think you can. Uh, then again, I mean, we do have some vegetation around so that kind of goes against my original thought actually with this being like a desert area maybe we're actually close to the coast so i'm kind of going against my initial gut feeling here with where in the state we were So I guess Russia, yeah, I guess all the big countries are pretty bad uh, for getting high scores uh, when you're not able to find any information. It just goes on forever. I'm going to have to make a guess here. So it's not, I mean, it is dry, but there is still kind of a lot of vegetation, actually. And there are farmlands. I don't know if this is dirt farming or what it is. If that is a thing. Doesn't really... Yeah. How dry is it in Texas? I don't know. I could put it in the middle and kind of save. You know, we have 
small spots like this with some vegetation. Well, let's put it in the middle to get some points here. I th so my original thought, and also according to the roads, I'm thinking further west. Oh, okay, so we were actually closer to the coast. So my second thought was more correct than uh, my initial thought then. Probably not close enough to... Well, it is a little bit greener all the way down here by the coast, so yeah. Um, yeah, it does something to the greenery. Alright, not too bad. Above 4,000 points at least. These look potentially like Asian symbols. I cannot begin to guess Chinese? No. But what is this? I don't know. I think that's Chinese. Could obviously be something else, but that's my, that's my initial guess. It's a cool little place, actually. It's very cramped. And we're probably not going to get any clues from the road signs either, are we? Hmm. Well, I guess if... Uh, I don't know how tourist-friendly China is. If this is China, it could be... I, man, I wish I knew the difference between some of these... Um, uh, letters or signs. It's a really cozy place. <clears throat> dot com. Why is everyone using dot com? Come on. Okay, we actually do have l l regular letters. Omekaido, Nerimaku, Sekimajasha. I don't know what this potentially feels more Japanese now. They're driving on the left side of the road. Huh. I can't go out on the... Okay, I can. Thank God. Is it Japan then? Or oh, they're driving on the left side. I can't recall actually any... Um, countries that has left side. Left hand traffic. Malibu, that's where we're at. Uh, road 4 and Road 116, Ome Nishigutu, Road 4 and 116, was that what I said? Yes, and we're driving west right now. We got nine and one hundred something. Of 
3117. Okay, that's kind of close to what we're looking for here. Is it close enough? Like I said, roads don't always follow a straight pattern, so it's not necessarily going to help us pinpoint exactly. 15 and 3. Can we just take one step up on both of those, get 4 and 16? Well, not 17. Alright, somewhere in between here then. This would be my guess. 15. 17. Where is 16? Have you hidden it? Why? Three, come on. I don't think zooming in is gonna give us. We got 14 as well, come on. Three, 14. That's just insane that I can't find the specific rows we're looking for here. We're finding everything around it. Assuming that we're in the correct part of the world. Okay, road 3 just continues all the way down. And 17 also goes all the way down here, so yeah, they can stretch for quite a bit. But we should that it should suggest us suggest that we're on the correct part here, maybe three and ten are pretty big, it seems like, and then we got eleven up here. that is a little bit discouraging. eleven. Eight, what? Eighteen? Sixteen? Four. Okay. Wow. Okay. And sometimes, you know, whatever they're pointing towards is not going to be close. It could be like a long way away. So we're driving west right now on road four. And to our south is 116. So we're driving west on road four. Wait, okay, this... Road four is just everywhere. It's here, it's here, and then all of a sudden it's here. And road 16 were south of us, so we need to look for a stretch of road that is, well... I don't see any of the names we were looking for, do we? Kichiyoyo, Ome, Nishigata, hmm. Yeah, I think we're kind of in the correct parts here somewhere, so I'm putting a marker down here. That's gonna be have to be close enough. I mean, this road could stretch all the way up here, you know, but... Uh... Okay, a little bit more central. Oh, that's actually right in Tokyo. Or outside. I, don't know. I guess Tokyo is all of this. Is it? No, probably not. No, I don't... I actually don't know. Well, pretty decent. Pretty decent indeed. 4,900, wow. Yeah, I guess when you zoom out, it's kind of spot on. All right, nice. I think we're in the States again. <clears throat> Look at the road. No, we're not in the States. Proclamerdrif. Kroonstadt, Botheville. Hmm. Well, I'm getting mixed signals here with uh, the naming. 
All right. That looks like a dirt road. Probably not the way we're going to go. Look at this. The shape of this road. Jesus. That's bad. What? What happened? I guess we just skipped ahead. They fixed the roads temporarily. I don't want to watch the sign, see how it looks. Mm. I'm not getting a lot of information from... Talana. Uh, the first road sign we saw with the city name or uh, village name, that seemed kind of like southeastern Europe-ish. But then we also had something Ville, which doesn't seem to align with that area. And also... It's just wide stretch, so it's more like Australia, something like that, South Africa. So that's why we need to find some more road signs with a couple of names to see if there is some logic behind the naming here. I guess there could be those types of names in the States as well. It uh, didn't really sound like Native American sounding. Because um, there are a couple of weird city names. Not weird, but, you know, not English sounding. But I don't think that's what we're looking at here. But the road would suggest uh, somewhere in the middle of uh, America. Jesus. Wow. Come on. I wish you could just skip ahead infinitely. Well, not infinitely. You know, it just keeps going straight with absolutely nothing here. Imagine living here. You just need to buy, you know, a carton of milk or something. You're gonna drive for uh, 10 years. A straight road. Christy and Basil. That wasn't a help at all. That's probably not what it said either. Oh my lord. And wait a minute, the... we're actually driving on the left side. I just realized we saw a Toyota pickup truck uh, before and it was driving on the left side. So that's a clue to Australia? Or I'm also thinking, yeah, definitely left hand traffic. Um, New Zealand, are they driving on the left side? It seems. Way too flat, though, for being that. But the names kind of was clinging more like that. And I don't know about South Africa. Yeah, which side you drive on there. It's 
Jesus Christ. I almost wish that you couldn't get these type of uh, roads. I guess you can pinpoint or pick more, uh, you know, uh, well put together travels. Maybe that is what you're supposed to do because this is, I mean, it's kind of fun, but it just takes forever to get any information to go on that is going to be reliable enough to make a somewhat quality guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's also blurry. It just keeps going in a straight line. It's absolutely insane. Well, I got a little turn coming up here. Something exciting. Woo! And then it's straight again. Oh god, I went backwards. How is that possible? What the hell? Can't click too far away because then you're not clicking a stretch of road, I guess. If I just had any clue which country we're in, I would make a guess already. Uh, well, what are these plants? I don't know. I haven't got a clue, but they're... it's far-stretching. I don't know if the yellow part we're seeing, if those are flowers. It could be... are potato plants growing this tall? No. Probably something else. Uh, I wish I knew more things, you know? If you could easily just spot, oh, this is such and such, and that is very common in this and that. Well, that would be a kind of a good clue. Also just telling what type of trees there are, what type of grass. And the road signs is probably the only thing we can get some information of, uh, but not reliably. Because, okay, well, let's see. Well. Doesn't really help us. Should we make a turn here? Hmm. It is pointing to something, but we are also on a road that seems to be something. This looks to be a smaller road, so I think we're going to stay on this one. Okay, another sign. Maybe we can get some type of clue here. Chris Jorbet Stukpan. This is what I'm talking about. We're getting some... English sounding stuff. Chris, then Joubert is almost French sounding, and then we get like Eastern European or Russian thing. Oh, this is how I'm seeing it in my mind. It's very confusing. Do you have any... Oh. And I don't know well... Uh, Australia. I don't know if they got like weird sounding uh, city names or places as well. Because it feels like Australia. In the way it just stretches on like forever. This is just amazing. God, look at this. Imagine coming down this road in a pretty high speed and just boom, boom. Cannot be good for your truck. Oh, was there a sign? Uh, well, that's not going to help me. I guess potentially with the naming of... The road signs. Hello, Oceanic 8 and company. How are you doing? Welcome to uh, 
bit of a mystery travel right here. It's very flat. It is a long stretch of straight road. And we're driving on the left side. That's all we know. <clears throat> and it seems like we're getting a mix of English sounding names and well, basically sounding everywhere all, all over the world. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome. I'm doing fine. Well, they got cows, if that is some help. Okay, we got some... I mean, this doesn't help me at all. Okay, a little bit of water. <laughs> That's nice. But yeah, can we get some more road signs, please? Uh, all right, thank you for dropping by. Uh, hope you had a good stream yourself. And good night, I guess. Oh, oh, I saw a sign. And thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, let's see what we can see here. The signs have been really hard to read. Sometimes we do get... Bus pan? Rust pan. I... this has been the worst one ever. I have no clue. It could be so many places. Probably not, though. I mean, I could check up on a list where you drive on the left-hand side. That will limit our choices. And also that it looks so damn flat. Just, just the fact that we're seeing such a long straight road probably suggests that it's a pretty big country. I feel like that's usually, that goes hand in hand, somehow. Frick Harry. This seems like an interesting place. Can we go down this road? Uh, probably not. Ah, oh, man. So if I were to guess right now, would I guess... No. I, I can't even begin to guess. That's the problem. Jesus, stop censoring the signs. I need information. And I hate making a guess, because we do have pretty good points already. So I don't want to just spoil it by putting it in the... South Africa, yeah, I'm thinking that as well. Uh, that sounds more reasonable... ...than, um... ...anything else. And that would probably be my guess. And now we're on a freaking gravel road, jeebus. S725. Let's see if there's any... This is the first real sign we've seen, I think. That's not even a real sign. Blessebocklagde. S725. Let's see if that seems reasonable. S725. Could be. It's a green sign with a letter and something. 300s. 100s. 600s. Okay. 
Man, that took us a long time to just see get a sign that was pointing us in the somewhat right direction. 300. We had 700 here somewhere. Yeah. But that might stretch all over the place, you know? 500. It seems kind of limited where the roads or 700, but that's, as always, the roads, they can move all over the country. Now I lost the 700s again. 500. Oh no. Oh no. Was it R? No, S. So south, maybe? <clears throat> I'm not saying that we're in the south part, I mean heading south. Okay, we're up by the 700 roads, okay. I think that's gonna have to be good enough. But it doesn't say R is the problem. So we're on 19, that's pretty close. 720. 725. And we were driving... East. But we're not on the 725. Did I even find the correct one? Yes. So north is 725. If... Alright, I'm putting a marker down here somewhere. Saw so stuck pun on a sign earlier. Yes, but that didn't seem like a. Uh, I think that's. I don't think that's a uh, place. I think that's just like, uh, you know, maybe they're making stuck pun, or is stuck pun actually? I mean, that was just like a farm or something. I think could be a place. Let's. Okay, not bad. So even though, yeah, the 725 is over here, and we were driving, that was actually a main road. Oh my god, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought we were going to be on a way smaller road. Uh, but pretty good, above 4,000 again. Um, and we were driving east. Don't know how far we got. We probably traveled along this... Did we get to an intersection turning off? No. So I think we just kept on this road, right? And somehow there was a sign pointing to 725 south. Yeah. River? Is it a river? Stukban? Or does it mean river? Stukpan. I mean, the more we can learn each time we do some of these things, it's uh, it's good. Bethlehem. Oh my god. Okay, let's head in for our last one. Uh, well, we got pretty decent scores here. I'm just gonna fill up my cup of coffee, so I will be right back. All right, let's see if we can do 
even better. Right side driving. First initial thought is Eastern Europe. Probably. Kind of northernly. Hello? There we go. Okay, we got Cyrillic letters, right? So maybe, they, well, it could be Russia ish. Could also be a slightly more southern Europe, southeast. Mm, a wide stretch forest as far as you can see. Some minor hills. That's an old bus. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Are we traveling on helper tours around the world? We are. Taking you places you wouldn't have thought of. Oh, they're selling uh, meatballs, I almost said, but that's not meatballs at all. It's the opposite. For some reason, I'm getting a sense that. Well, nah, probably not. I feel like if we were in Russia, we would have seen Russian flags by now. Could that be the case? Ooh, there might be some juicy information on that uh, in that window. No. South Russia closed it. Yeah, that's not impossible at all. Um, it's very sensitive where I put my uh, cursor here. It also looks a little bit too sunny to be Russia. Is that a weird thing to say? Maybe. I know that it's many brick buildings in South. Okay. Do you mean South Europe or South Russia? Because we do have a couple of countries uh, in Southeastern Europe that also uses um, the Cyrillic lettering. And sometimes I do get a little bit fooled when we see... What the heck? When we do see a lot of... Um, Empty space surrounding the place we're at, you know, wide forests or wide just plains and stuff like that. I immediately think it's a huge country, and sometimes it is. Uh, but you know, as far as you can see, that's not very far. So it does, it could be a small country, but we're just in a very empty part of it. Hmm. Why are we up on the sidewalk here? I guess this is kind of the main road. Might come to an end here. I feel like we should be out on this, whatever that is. I don't know how I ended up here. I took a wrong turn somewhere. I 
But then again, we only see the Cyrillic letters. We don't see any signs with other ones, right? So I don't know how important that is. It kind of makes me feel Russia again. No, why am I sidestepping like that? Oh, there is no way. Oh. Russia, I know a guy from Rostov. <laughs> That's Russian, I think. Okay. Oh god, we're getting off the main road here. This could be good. Um, okay, a lot of signs have actually had like red, white, and blue. So that might be the Russia connection that we're needing. But once again, it's a big country. How am I supposed to make a freaking guess here? Now we're just going deep into nothing here. I think we need to return to our base. Yeah, this is not good. Let's um, go the other way. It was pretty good since we actually entered a little city. But that's not good enough. Oh, this is taking us out into the wilderness. Oh, coming up to something here. I see a road sign. I think, yes. Could there be a main road up here? <gasps> now I'm looking at the colors of the balconies here. Uh, red, white and green. If they're going with the colors of the flag, could be somewhere else then. Man, we've had a couple of rough ones, but we still managed to get some information in the end, but it takes us so long to get the information we need. Is this the main road potentially? Nah, that looks. Nah. I think we need some more patriotism uh, in these countries. Have some flags in your windows or uh, something. Come on. Dot R U. Okay. Thank you, graffiti guy. You saved my uh, trip, probably. <clears throat> That's good. But... It doesn't really help us. Well, with a country, but it is a big country. Oh, that's neat. I think these are solar panels um, used for um, running the lights. That's smart. Oh, that's a nice little uh, church. Oh, that's a very shiny dome. All right, let's see if we can just find one street road name. Are we going up on the sidewalk again? Please no. Do we see the ocean? No. Wait. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. I thought it was a wild ocean, but now it looks like... I don't know. Wait. 
Yeah, I think it's fog. It seems like we're just stuck in these damn uh, towns here. Can't really leave them. Oh my god. Well, this is probably going to be our worst guess done because we have gotten absolutely no information at all. And I mean... This could be a zero point uh, thing. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. How can we not get any information here? That's absurd. If we can not end up on the sidewalk over in this direction, maybe we can get out on the main road or something. Wait, am I going in the same direction we just did? Uh, maybe. Uh, there was another road taking us in where I thought was just going to be nothing. That wasn't it. Okay, we're back up here. Maybe I should take a turn. We went that way last time. So let's head out here. Maybe this is how we leave the town. Okay. It could be Pachinki. It could be. Uh, the diners uh, seemed... Uh... Wait, there's no diner in Pachinki, is there? It could be Milta. Just give us one road sign with a number and we can do a somewhat reliable guess. I think we're coming up with some road signs. No? It's just something else. God. Oh, that's a gas pipe, isn't it? I guess that's one way of doing it. And yeah, I guess it's cheaper to do it this way than to put it in the ground. But it's also way easier to just sabotage it, if people would do that. How have we not seen a single road sign? It's absolutely absurd. Maybe we have, maybe they just look way different and we're not spotting them. Okay, we got something here, Jesus Christ. Well, you can refuel your car. That's good. Man, we've had a couple of rough ones today with zero information. One big truck, pipe gone, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, that does happen way more often than it should, that truck drivers just drive right into um, bridges and whatnot, so that could easily happen there as well, but it's probably easy, easily fixed. If the pipe just breaks in the middle, maybe the whole section just comes off. Sure, we're gonna spill some um, oil or natural gas or whatever it might be. So, can't go any further here. Which would be good, because now we're just getting into small little... Yeah, 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 what, why? Uh, but yeah, it's probably kind of easy to fix. Just putting a new pipe up there. Um, so, and I guess, yeah, if... A pipe bursts in the ground you need to dig up the ground and fix it so eh, I guess it's probably easier to maintain but also easier to get destroyed I would think
I just need one freaking street. There is something here, oh my god. <sighs> Hitipa. All right, the search begins. Hmm. I don't see Hitipa. It's a number there, was there? It's a meta number. Yeah, that might just be the distance. And you know, this is just too big to randomly find a tipper. I mean, we could be Kazakhstan as well. Oh my god, this has been the worst experience so far. If my score was bad already, I wouldn't mind just putting it down, but we are potentially getting up there. Oh, information. <clears throat> that is not a road number, I think. If these signs work anything in Swedish, that's 376 kilometers to... And that's the end of the line. Jesus Christ. We can't leave the place even. <sighs> so, going by the nature, <clears throat> the trees, we got birch trees, we got pine trees and stuff like that. Very similar to what we got up in Sweden. So it would suggest we're in this greener area. We're not down in these drier things. So somewhere along this line, it's kind of a wide line. It is dry though. Is it? I guess maybe. Hmm, a little bit south of Moscow. I mean, we have absolutely no information that it would be here. It could also be here, you know. But maybe they haven't driven the Google truck over here. Is that a thing we could think? Maybe. Uh, we have seen stuff in Kazakhstan, though, so I guess I'm putting it somewhere here, central western parts, over Moscow. Do you think it's north of Moscow? Well, I'm going to have to make a guess here. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad, unless we're getting insanely lucky. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. That was fucking lucky. I am really happy with that guess. And that was purely a guess. Well, I mean, it was a qualified guess. I did say somewhere in this greener area. And it was. And I put it in the central western part. So, eh, qualified guess, I guess. And even if we would have looked for um, names here, I don't recognize any of these from the signs. So, alright, well. 22,419. That is not a high score. Our high score from last week is 23,911. But. 
could have been a high score if we just had some information about this, but I probably couldn't have put it down any better, to be honest. <laughs>